Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crossing the Line. Today we're going to be looking at another story out of the UK. We're following those riots and protests carrying on from that uh, mass stabbing attack where unfortunately three little girls were brutally murdered at a Taylor Swift uh, dance class or uh, show thing. And um, following along those lines, the public, the uh, let's call them uh, the initial... Uh, inhabitants of England have decided that they've finally had enough of uh, Middle Eastern men and cultures that do not uh, mix with them, butchering and killing their civilians and butchering and killing their women and children. And uh, I don't blame them, honestly. It's um, come to a point where this has been going on for decades now and it's all brought on by their mass immigration policy and just letting anyone into the country and them not assimilating, basically. I mean, it's fine if people come into the country and they want to assimilate like a lot of the Indian population does in uh, not just England, but in Australia as well. They seem to assimilate quite well, whether you like them or not. Uh, they do... They do have their own little uh, enclaves and that, but they generally get along well with the population. Unlike a lot of these other countries, uh, the Sudanese, uh, we have a problem with them in, here in Australia. They also have the same problem over there in the UK. It's uh, Whether it's a religious thing or a cultural thing, I don't know, but uh, it just seems to be a lot of these cultures do not want to mix, do not even try to mix with uh, the countries that they move to and they like to oust anyone and uh, change their rules to make things uh, more along their liking and I don't understand why if you left a war-torn shithole of a country uh, you come to a new country where you want to live a better life and have better things and make something yourself I don't understand why you want to turn the country uh, into the one you left I don't get it it, is, uh, it seems to be a plan by the governments all around the world to mass import third world uh, people, uh, refugees, asylum seekers, whatever you want to call them, uh, to our countries and systematically destroy them and leave us uh, holding the pieces and leave us suffering the consequences while they sit idly by in their white towers and their mansions with their private security behind fences and gates armed and uh, well protected with all their money, wealth and power. Uh, leave us out in the streets to fend for ourselves. But, uh, you know, that's just a conspiracy theory and there's n actual no massive organisational um, around the world going uh, pushing that agenda. But, you know, you think you'd see it somewhere, maybe along the lines of um, every single news story and article ever put out in the last four, six years uh, pushing the same agenda? But I digress, we'll get into it anyway. UK police commissioner is threatening to extradite US citizens uh, for posting naughty things online. Now, uh, he's also had a lash out at uh, Elon Musk and the likes of people like uh, anyone posting anything inflammatory on the internet. It seems like the, um, the UK is up to its uh, old... Uh, old issues with the Yanks. I don't know whether it'll come to a, a red coat, blue coat kind of uh, revolutionary war, but it'd be interesting to see if uh, the US would ever extradite someone to England for a Facebook post. I highly doubt it. But in the world we're living in, the things that keep happening on a day-to-day -day basis, who knows? If uh, Camilla Harris gets in, um, she loves locking people away, whether they should be in prison or not. And... Um, that might just be right up her alley. But we'll take a look at this, and I, I can guarantee you um, the US citizens aren't going to uh, abide by these um, extraditions. They aren't going to be very happy if this ever comes about. Uh, I doubt it will. I mean, that seems to be stepping over a line, but, I mean, we have had quite a year already, quite a few years, where things just progressively get worse and nothing seems to change Uh for the better, and they, the government all around the world, not just in the UK, but America and Australia as well, uh, seems to be taking more power for themselves. Uh, Citizen Online Post will come after you. Uh, this man has got some balls of steel, I don't know about you, but uh, if he thinks that he can take on the entire United States uh, or people online, it's probably going to happen here in Australia before it happens in the US, but uh, I think he's got another thing coming for him. Uh, being a keyboard warrior does not make you safe from the law, the police commissioner warned. 
Uh, London's Metropolitan and Police Chief warned the officials will not only be cracking down on British citizens for commentary on the rights of the UK, but American citizens as well. Because uh, having a commentary on something like the rights, even not saying anything legal, is apparently illegal now in the UK. So I wonder whether they'll try to extradite me for this video. I doubt it. We will throw the full force of the law behind uh, law at people. And whether you're in this country committing crimes on the streets or committing crimes from further afield online, we will come after you, Metropolitan Police Commissioner Sir Mark Rowley told Sky News. Riots have broken out across the United Kingdom in recent days over false rumours spread online that an asylum seeker was responsible for the mass stabbing at Taylor Swift-themed dance event where they left three girls dead and others wounded. The murders allegedly committed by a now 18-year-old British citizen born to Rwandan parents sparked a series of UK pro uh, violent protests that uh, tapped into broader concerns about the scale of immigration in the UK. Now, uh, that rumour that he was an illegal immigrant uh, was dismissed pretty quickly and no one carried on about it. Uh, it was found out that he was uh, born in England to Rwanda, uh, Rwandan parents uh, very quickly and that seems to be the issue here. It's... Um, that they're not assimilating. These people come into the country and they form their own cults, uh, whether you want to call it a cult or a, a church or a certain religion, I don't care. But I think it'd be a cult, especially when your um, religion or doctrine wants you to go around murdering little girls. I don't think that's really a religion at that point. But um, they get into their little enclaves. They do not assimilate. They hate everyone who's not them, whether it's... um. Whether they're white or not, it doesn't matter. Rwandans will probably hate Pakistanis. They don't care. It's um, multiculturalism means there's a whole bunch of bunch of multiple cultures living in an area. It doesn't mean they get along well. I mean, Chinese could hate the Vietnamese. The Vietnamese could hate the Japanese. The Koreans probably hate the Japanese. Uh, that's probably good cause. I don't know. But um, you know, they don't get along. They don't have to get along. But uh, generally assimilating to the culture that you move to is a good idea. Everyone gets along then if you all have the same sort of values and wants and needs uh, for your local community. But these people do not do it. They start their own little enclaves and they s stay in them. They commit uh, various amounts of illegal um, activities and they just think that the laws don't apply to them because they're not really a citizen of that country. They don't see themselves as English. They see themselves as, in this case, Rwandan or, you know, Pakistani or um, Palestinian, as it seems to be the case. Footage of the violent clashes involving anti-immigration protests of the groups of counter-protesters, some of whom have been seen waving Palestinian flags, oh, who'd be surprised, has gone viral on social media and the government is warning that sharing such content may have serious consequences. So if you share content, say, that um, Sky News here is sharing, you're going to go to jail for that? One key aspect that makes this apparent crackdown on social media particularly shocking to critics is the British government is threatening to extradite American citizens from the US to be jailed in the UK for violating their rules about political speech online. Let's just, just point out that's a little fucking insane that you can say something on your phone, put it out on Twitter. In America, you could be in Canada, America, uh Australia, who cares? At this point, if they're extraditing people, Trump wanting to extradite people from America, they're going to do it no matter what country you're in. Uh, and you could be arrested and detained and taken back to the UK for punishment. How insane is that? Imagine if we let North Korea do that. Imagine if we let China do that. If you speak bad against the CCP or uh, you speak bad against Kim Jong and his stupid little haircut, um, they have the right to arrest you and drag you back for punishment. What's the difference there? I don't. There's no difference. If the UK can do that, why would we not let uh, North Korea or China or Russia do it? Why would we not just let Putin fly? Um, I don't know who's a staunch advocate for the uh, the war in Ukraine. Uh, Zelensky to say why would we just not arrest Zelensky and give him to Putin? Because that's the kind of shit that they're talking about here. If you say something we disagree with, we can come across the globe reach across and grab you and take you back and punish you in our country where the law was apparently broken. 
UK rights plunge country into the worst unrest in years. Prime Minister vows to apply full force of the law. A Sky News reporter asked Commissioner Rowley to further explain his warning, arguing high-profile figures have been whipping up hatred and that the likes of Elon Musk has been getting involved. So you're going to arrest Elon Musk. Is that right? You're going to drag Elon Musk back to the UK to um, you know, sit in your kangaroo court? I don't get it. She then asks that the police force will plan when it comes to dealing with these people who are whipping up this kind of behaviour from the key behind the keyboard who may be in a different country. Rowling answered by telling the reporter, being a keyboard warrior does not make you safe from the law. You can be guilty of offences of excitement of stirring out racial hatred that are numerous terrorist offences regarding the publishing of material, he said. All of those offences are in play if people are provoking hatred and violence on the streets and we will come after those individuals. Just as we will physically confront on the streets, the thugs and the yobs who are talking, who are causing problems for the communities. Do you know who causes problems for communities? Do you know who caused this problem for this um, migrant community? The child or the 18-year-old that went and massacred those little girls. He is the reason that this thing has happened. And uh, by at large, a stretch, it'd be people like you because you don't crack down on violent crime in the communities where it starts you let that get out of control you let them create their little enclaves and you circles of hate you let them preach hate in the streets because they're muslim you let them preach hate in the streets because they're brown you'd if a white person does it if a white person stands there, that's you know if a white person drapes themselves in their flag that seems as seemed as racist but if a black person or a brown person does it from uh, another country or an immigrant or someone who could be construed as a minority then that's that's okay. That's okay then. UK government sc uh, scourging social media to arrest people for sharing harmful right footage regardless of intent. Now, ex explain to me how sharing footage of a riot could be harmful. I mean, they're not saying anything about it. If they just share an image or they share uh, this image here, is, is uh, Fox News going to be arrested and dragged across the ocean for sharing these images here? Is that what you're talking about? Elon Musk has made headlines for criticizing the Prime Minister Sir Keir's, was it uh, Keir Starmer's response to the riots over the past week, suggesting the UK is headed towards civil war. Damn right they are. He also responded to a video of someone allegedly arresting for offensive online comments with the question: "Is Brit is this Britain or is this Soviet Union?" So they arrested a man for posting: "Is this Britain or is or is this the Soviet Union?" They arrested it. Well, I think he got his answer. Starmer's spokesperson said there is no justification for Musk's comment, adding the social media companies can and should be doing more to combat misinformation, the BBC reported. He, misinformation and the BBC, yeah. Uh, BBC and misinformation go hand in hand. Uh, Elon Musk and X and Community Notes and things like that have done more for misinformation and disinformation, getting rid of it than any other company, any other mainstream media news source has ever done. More to combat misinformation, the BBC reporter. He added that such companies have a responsibility to stop the spread of criminal activity and limit misinformation. Stop the spread of criminal activity. That is your fucking job. You are the police commissioner. That is your job to stop uh, criminal activity. You know, like criminal activity, like stabbing and massacring three little girls and mass stabbing people, uh, robbing bashing white people for being white in their own streets, smashing in the fronts of pubs because they're construed as a, a what, a English heritage white supremacist icon or beacon. I don't get it. Uh, you let these minority groups, I'll say that minority groups, because actually the minority in London is white people. I think it's, what is it, 37% of people who live in London are born in England. 37%. That's a minority. So you let these illegal immigrant groups, you let these crimes uh, be committed, you let these gangs exist, you let the, all this happen just so you don't offend anyone, and then you bitch, whinge, cry, moan, and point, point the finger and scream racism, hatred, and bigotry when people have had enough of you not doing your job. That's what this is. This is not This is people being fed up with you not doing your job. Have a look at the story here. More than 700 arrests and 302 people charged with rights in England. Now, I'm guaranteeing you who they're targeting. We know who they're targeting. It's the people on the right or 
you know, they call them far right, but they're not right. They're not even far right. They're not, uh, they're what, middle ground people that have just had enough of their children being murdered in the streets. I don't blame them. Police investigating the riots led by the far right said they've made more than 700 arrests for alleged offences and promised hundreds more to come. Of the 742 arrests, 32 relate to online offences such as incitement and scale of the operation has shown the fact that the arrest took place in 36 of the 43 force areas across England and Wales. Now, 32 relate to online offences such as incitement. Inciting, how how is posting something online just saying that you're going to one of these riots or protests? Because that's how they start. They're not just riots. They start as a protest and someone gets out of control and starts burning something or throwing rocks. Whether it's police proc- uh, provocateurs starting that, you know, it's like we've seen it... Uh, Oh, a little a little incident in the U.S. Capitol building, stuff like that, you know. Uh, don't think that the police aren't doing it in England. Arrests include allegations of violent disorder, theft, antisocial behaviour, and the police said the investigations across the country will probably be la- uh, last months to come. Maybe if you didn't let these little girls get massacred and all those communities just get away with shit like this all the time, the mass grooming gangs in England is the starting point of this they're blaming tommy robertson for all of these riots and things and like they're going to put that man away if he if he steps foot i think he's i don't know whether he's back in england now but he was away on holiday if he steps foot back in england just going to arrest him lock him up and then charge him with all of these crimes that he hasn't committed that is what's going to happen. If they can charge an American, or they tr- think they can charge an American citizen for saying something distasteful or something that could be deemed as insightful on Facebook or Twitter or our X or something like that, then by God, they are going to do that to their own people. My God. Arrests include allegations of violent disorder, theft, and antisocial behavior in the months to come. Figures as community uh, come as communities and forces embrace more potential gatherings could tip into violence, with the police continuing their biggest mobilization to face down the public order threats in 2011 riots across England. I wonder what those were about. Police said 302 people have been charged and more to come. He said further cases should be expected against rioters and those spreading online hate. How do you, how do you spread online hate? Like, because um, I know what makes me hate something is when I read a story online uh, that is just full of falsehoods, lies, and it's promoting the government's propaganda. That That's pretty hateful to me. The new figures uh, were issued in the National Police Chiefs Council, MPCC. The figures include Northern Ireland, where police have arrested 26 people and charged 21 of those in a rioting. Detectives are using a variety of, so- uh, variety of sources to identify suspects, including drone and body-worn footage. BJ Harrington, a chief constable who is, who is being uh, used rest respectively, can identify people even if they are wearing masks. Sorry, I'll start again. BJ Harrington, a chief constable who is the national lead for public order, warned that facial recognition, which is being used retrospectively, can identify people even if they are wearing masks. Um, that's slightly terrifying, don't you think? Using, if you're wearing a mask, you can still be caught out by this um, facial recognition. Gee, uh, who was screaming about that for the last couple of years being an issue? Um, I don't know everyone and then we were called conspiracy theorists and nut jobs and uh oh look it's all real isn't that insane police chiefs are convinced their constant public message about swift and robust justice will continue act as a deterrent to some who may be tempted to join the violent disorder scene in england and northern ireland since last tuesday the latest police statement on the part of that campaign the violence broke out after false information of the suspect, the stabbing in Southport. They left three young girls dead while they shared a line. No, that's not why the violence broke out. It's because of false information. The violence broke out because people are finally fed up of having their children massacred in the streets because someone believes in a different cloud wizard and doesn't like the taste of bacon. That is why they are over it. You mass import these people to our countries. You tell them that they don't have to assimilate and they can just leech off of every single one around them and that whatever they do is fine because it's just part of their culture. It's okay if they pray in the streets and burn down churches and rape and kill our women and children. That's okay because it's part of their part of their um part of their culture, it's part of their religion. No. Is it, these are our countries it needs to be safe for our people and it needs to be safe for the immigrants that come here and want to lead a better life. But it's not. 
when you import this many people, you aren't doing background checks. You aren't doing the right things. You're letting in criminals. You were letting in terrorists. You're letting in these terrible people who are massacring little girls in a dance class. And that is why people are upset. It's not because of where he came from. It's because of you guys let this happen. You guys let this happen. And you want to arrest everyone for being upset about it. How about you go and arrest the people there on the terrorist, terrorist watch list that you've been following and you keep an eye on because you're worried that they're going to go and do a mass stabbing or something like that. Go and arrest them. Instead of arresting the fathers and the brothers and the sons of these people who are in the streets using their voice to say how upset they are. Riots are, what do they call it? It's the voice of the unheard. People are over it. People want their country back. And it's not just white people and right-wingers and racists and bigots and homophobes, whatever the key words are they want to use. It's just normal, everyday people that want their homes back. They don't want their children massacred because of someone's fucking cloud wizard. They don't want their people raped in the streets. They don't want their children groomed. Is that too much to ask? I mean, when when is it going to be enough? If they don't step up and do something now, if they don't actually push back and they change their voting habits, which is generally the biggest way to fix any of this, if they let you vote correctly. I mean, we just saw what's happened in some countries around the world where they just uh, declare that they won, even though they didn't. And um, some elections have been stolen. We know some of them, but we won't go into that because of YouTube's... Um, rules and regulations about that but mass mainstream media narrative that is just pushing that this is just a right-wing extre extremist far right-wingers whatever you want to call it and they're all anti-muslim uh, there's muslims in the street protesting as well and they're on the same side of these so-called far right-wingers uh there's sikhs there's hindus there's buddhists there's Catholics and Christians and everyone's over it. They don't want these nut jobs massacring their people anymore. They want their country back. They want to be listened to and they want to be heard. And this isn't just the only place. It's happening in France. It's happening in Germany. It's happening in America. It's happening in Canada. And the mainstream media is trying to ignore it, trying to snuff out the flame of truth and justice. And they will use every single word every single hateful word that they have in their vocabulary and they will resort to uh arresting people in the streets they will extradite people now this chump seems to uh think that he's going to start extraditing americans and arresting them and taking them back to england for punishment because they said a naughty word online now um i've just got one thought on that uh an armed society is a polite society and Good luck trying to arrest Americans and take them back to your totalitarian dictatorship that you oh so love with your um, little, uh, what was it, tasers and bobby battens. I don't think it's going to work there, buddy. Uh, but, you know, have a crack at it. See how it goes. What do you guys think anyway? Do you think that the uh, police chief is actually going to extradite anyone from the US. I, I reckon they'll have a crack at some big individual. They might put out an arrest warrant for like Elon Musk or something. Someone like that. They might um, do what our government did here in Australia and try to sue him and then uh, waste $700,000 on doing that just to um, be laughed out of court. But, you know, I don't see it getting any better. Maybe these rights will open people's minds to voting differently and actually voting for people who care about them. But don't forget that the government hates you. It doesn't matter which government, they all hate you. And if you hate the mainstream media, you don't hate them enough. They will lie, cheat and steal and put out propaganda just to sell clicks, ads and make the government happy. What do you guys think anyway? Don't forget to like the video, share and around because uh, I'm trying to get around YouTube's uh, algorithm at the moment. It seems to be quite, um, quite upsetting people at youtube when you talk about certain things but uh we've always got x to go on and things like that rumble don't forget to me follow me over there and like share video leave a comment down below and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in the next episode don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe to the channel comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video